Before Easter Sunday, number nine, Maryland Lacrosse, found itself in a spiral. But after an emphatic come from behind victory in Happy Valley, it returns back to College Park with a new sense of life. The unranked Ohio State Buckeyes are riding into College Park with a pivotal win under its belt last weekend. It's the Terrapins and the Buckeyes. And he did his best work late in that game, Ben. Maryland down 8-3. They storm back with a 6-0 run in the fourth quarter, in large part thanks to his work from the dot. And Tommy Burke will be the one beside him there at the dot. And we're underway in College Park. And the ground ball is picked up by McDonald and Maryland. Has been a little lackluster for Ohio State. Defensively has been the strong point of this team. Sherrard gets through the hands free. It's poked away. McNaney has it. His first chance to make a play, and he rises to the occasion. Oliver gets the screen. Now he has the short stick on him. And there's Syracuse in front, and he scores. Ryan Syracuse with his 12th of the season will give Maryland the 1 0 lead. His first year as a starter for this team, and he has really been good for this Maryland program. The Buckeyes are coming off one of their best offensive performances all season in that win over Rutgers. 14 goals, eight assists. That tied a season high for points. He's got a short stick on him in Stamos. This is what they want. Look at the speed. Allen, fancy footwork out in front. It's on the line, and it's a goal. Ari Allen. is very quick to dispute that. You almost want goal line technology like in soccer. Just what a weird play. You see the speed here from Allen. Trip Stamos on the line. Let's see the ball. Tough to see from that angle. The ref had a better view of it. What did you see there, Ben? It's really tough to tell, but remember, Tyler, this offseason, the Big Ten decide they are not doing replay review in conference games. That was something that kind of bit Maryland last week. So this is where Maryland can be smart here. Maybe try to go and one. Molliver finds Kelly. Did that one go in? They say no. They say it hit the pipe. Kelly with his arms up. He thinks it went in. Let's take a look. So Oliver with a phenomenal pass right here. Kelly on the doorstep. Can't tell from that angle. Kelly really thinks it did. Either way, it's going to be a man-up opportunity for Maryland. Owen Murphy starts us off, and Chorus takes it from behind, and Maryland can really get set up. Irksa is on the wing for Maryland. Murphy, a long one. That one stopped by Fiox foot, and he scoops it up on the goal line. Pretty much the same play that we just saw at the other end. That one a lot more definitive, though, if I got there in time. Chance for the clear. It's knocked out and picked up by Irksa. How about that ride? Finds Kelly. Chorus had four goals in that win over Penn State. Here he is, shot turned away by Fayak. Ground ball is picked up by Ohio State. Really been locked in. The defense has been giving him shots that he can manage. And he's dealt all, with all of them except for one. Justin Sharar, 27 on 27 matchup with Schaller. He accelerates and he scores! Jack McKenna. In number 27 is the one who beats Will Schaller there. And the Buckeyes are out in front of the Terps. And it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Schaller has the advantage, you would think, with the pole, but the speed, I think, just a little bit too much. And Maryland will take a timeout. They trail the Buckeyes 2-1 to one here in College Park. The last shot from... Around the same spot, just on the other side, and that time, a little bit too far. He was looking for the far post. Spanos, did that one go in? It did.
tie ball game. The amount of times that you have said, did that one go in so far in this game is unbelievable considering that we're still in the first quarter. Just a weird, weird game of lacrosse, but what a shot this is for Spanos. He loves to come to the front of the GLE and turn and shoot. He's got that motion down, and let's take a look. Yeah, that's definitely in the net, no doubt about that one. Goes in the net and comes off that outside pipe. He shot it across the goal, literally. It went across the net and off that far post and back out. So Jack Brennan, one of the second line minis, getting some more runs today. Molliver finds Kelly, that one's turned away. Can someone in white get open for him? He'll take it out himself. The long shot, and that's an easy stop for Big Tasty. Ohio State working at behind. And here's Marigny, the sweeping shot is saved by McNaney. Ohio State is 10 of 31 on man up opportunities this year. And watch Alex Marigny in this possession, but no need for it. That's Ed Sheehan. Buckeyes back in front. And the Buckeyes have come to play. This offense is really looking good. And if you're Maryland, the last thing that you can afford right now is to give them an extra man. Pass to the middle. Just making that look easy there from Sheehan. He was held scoreless in that win over Rutgers, but on the board here early in the second quarter. Got a little bit disruptive there. Molliver gets the pick, but the ball's free and on the ground. Cullen Brown caused turnover and a ground ball for him. Maryland started slow against Penn State. They've done the same here. How can this offense get it going? Difference is they're only down by one, not five. Spano's going to try a long one, and the Bowie native... Caleb Fayok. Kohler will have to D up right here on Greenblatt. Long shot for Matthews McNaney. And a big hit there on Kelly. You can see him getting up from that. Spanos has Maryland's last goal. Pass inside, Urxa, somehow, some way. How in the world did he do that? And somehow, some way is kind of fitting for that goal. Not just how it went in, but how long it's been since Maryland has found the back of the net. Their offense has been troubled. And they needed somebody to step up and make a play. And Urxa does just that. What a finish there to the post. So much contact, that goes off of Fayak and in. Recognizing when a turnover is about to happen and makes the call, second time he's done it today. And a big collision between Kelly and Hutchins, ball on the ground, who wants this one? It's still loose, it pops all the way out. Fisher can't grab it, and it's picked up by the Buckeyes, here they come. And here is Zapatello. Ball knocked free by Zapatello. It's on the ground, and who else but one in white? Tries to flip it up, and that one barely gets to Burles. And here they come. McDonald, he'll shoot it, and he scores it! Jack McDonald, for the second time in his career, finds the back of the net. It's 4-3 Terps. And Jack McDonald is no stranger to shooting. You can see that here, winding it up and firing it into the top of the goal. So much confidence there from number 51, and there's not much that gets a bench more fired up than that. His 13th career shot, Ben. Here's Syracuse, who already has one. Spanos. Long shot, he scores! 
Eric Spanos for the second time today. It's a two goal lead for Maryland. And John Tillman wants this to be a sign that the offense is starting to click. Look at the speed, look at the confidence here from number seven. Doesn't need much room, Ben, and he fires it right into the net. Spanos, a guy who scored in every single game except for the win over Brown a couple weeks back, but a consistent piece on this Maryland offense. Buckeyes trail by two. Ball back on the ground, Red knocked it free. And there's Schaller getting the GB. A rare miss GB from Ajax Zapatello. And he gets it to McNaney. Now he will get back to him. Long shot Marinier right in the stick of McNaney. And that's just trust. That's just trust from Zapatello. He's played in front of McNaney now for a few years, and he knows he's okay with giving up that shot. McDonald passes this time, and that one strikes the side of the net. Fans thought it went in here at CQ. That was not the case with Rupel, but for McNaney, Zapatello was okay with giving up a shot, even from a player that good from that distance. And McNaney, a stone wall in the cage for Maryland. Marinier dropped it. Fight for the ground ball. Red overran it. Ball still loose. It pops out. And here comes McDonald again down the seam. He'll pull it out. Irks a long one. Fayok with a big save. Even Ajax Zapatello was up there. Maybe he was thinking, I need to score. And the ball still free. This is incredible. What a sequence we have here. <laughs> Who has it? It's Colin Brown, the Maryland native, that comes away with it. And look at that shade from Schaller. McKenna has one of the three Ohio State goals. He'll try one here, and he gets another one. Jack McKenna ends a huge drought for the Buckeyes. It's 6-4. to four. That's his second of the ball game. And just as you said, Ben, Boy, did the Buckeyes need this goal. And it's on Canfield, who's a very, very good on-ball defenseman. He just beats him to the front. That simple. It's a really, really nice shot through contact to the near post. Get your guys on the field with not much time left. That's a smart play there by number 52. Syracuse of time winding. Slide comes, he fires it, and big tasty. Right there to gobble that one up. It's going to take a lot more than that to beat him. And he'll throw it all the way across the field. McNaney had to chase it with Caputo. And that's how this third quarter comes to an end. Matthews behind the goal. Pass inside. Denied by McNaney. Spanos got two in the ball game. Urksa looked like it went off the leg of the defender who's a little bit shaken up. Ball still loose. Even Fayok trying to get in there to scoop it. There's another Ohio State. Oh no, same one still down. Ohio State comes away with it. Spanos denied by the stick of Cohen Brown. And then the pass is thrown away by Urksa. Yeah, 30 turnovers this year for Urksa, and it's been a gross game. You just wonder which defense is going to crack here in the fourth. Here's Island. Gets the hands free. Stopped by McNaney, and he's out of the cage. Look at him go for a whistle. So Ohio State team is tough, mentally and physically. It's never an easy game against them. Somehow the hands got free, and look who it is. It's Blake Island. It's a one-goal game. Right on cue. And you kind of feel like that's a guy who deserved a goal after stopping one at the other end and 
sitting for a little bit. He gets a moment like this. And ben Mayer, or this is Caputo. The pass was a little bit low. That is a phenomenal catch in finish by Island. Look at that, scooping it off the bounce. Yeah, what a great angle there from our crew. That's his eighth of the season. Buckeyes back within one, but here comes Weirman on the break. He has it knocked out by Johnny Cool. Calm, cool, and collected. That's been the magic number in his career. Scoring 10 and giving up less than 10. Recipe for success. But today, team in a dogfight. And nearly tying it, McNean, he turned it away. Because he was that good last time out. and He may have gone from his best game of the season to his worst. McKenna, hands free, tie game! A hat trick for Jack McKenna. And we are all even at six. You can't leave him open. That's a shot from distance that McNaney is usually so comfortable with, but if you give a guy that much room, it's so hard to get anything to it. Haven't seen Daniel Moltz all game, so that's a big story here with this offense. Spanos, lefty fling is in! Hat trick for Eric Spanos. Maryland back in front. And we talk about how the offense has had their troubles today. That's just the fifth goal from this unit. And number seven makes it 7-6. With the offhand too. Eric Spanos doing it all for this Maryland team offensively. Spanos... He was getting looked at over on the sideline, but he's immediately back in the game. Pass inside, Spanos, a fourth. Maryland back up by two. I bet I think that Maryland is happy that he is right back into the game. My goodness, what a day for Eric Spanos, the only player in the Maryland offense that has had a good day, and it's been a great one. And he puts that one far post. That's a wonderful pass from Erksa, who's got his second point. And, and that's Eric Spanos and this Maryland team, boy, did they need those two goals here in the fourth. Shot clock nearing 10 here. Trying to dive towards the cage. And it looks like he was pushed in as Eric Molliver. And that's going to have flags flying all over the place. I believe that was actually Brennan. And that's a very scary play. Look at Brennan coming around. And he gets shoved into the post. That's not something that you want to see. And he is helped off the field. Here's another angle of it. Pushed from the back and goes head first into the post. And you hope that he's all right. That's just a scary collision, Ben. Marinier without a goal yet today. Zona Shorty. Hands free and a score. That's Blake Island for the second time today, the second time in this fourth quarter. And it's a one goal game. And hands free has been a common call for you today. And I think that's a good way to describe this. So Ohio State is creating space, freeing up the hands. No need to alter the shot. Yeah, some contact on the back, but nothing on the arms. And Island does a great job there. And now it's the biggest faceoff of the game. Burke and Weirman at that faceoff dot. This is a big one. Major fight for it. Who wants this ground ball? Weirman was down for a second. Burke has it. But oh, he throws it away. Still loose. Picked up by Island, who just scored. And the ball is still loose. Bodies everywhere. Maryland has it. And who else to get that ground ball than Jack Chorus? 
and it's thrown away. He's on the field right now, and he's got a chance alongside his defense, who's been so good today, to win the game. A golden opportunity for Ohio State. It trails by one. Here's Marinier. Scoreless today. And it's saved by McNaney. And the clock continues to wind down. Maryland's going to try to kill this whole thing. Yeah, the Terps are going to hope that that penalty doesn't even matter. The Buckeyes gave the Terps everything they had. It didn't matter. 8-7. Terps prevail in College Park. What a great lacrosse game. It's not the shootout that we got last time, but it is a battle, a defensive battle. And Maryland comes out on top.